Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, what are subtypes and specifiers in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, the DSM? So when we think of mental health disorders, oftentimes we know that they have sometimes subtypes and sometimes they have specifiers. And in some occasions we see both. So to start off with, both subtypes and specifiers add specificity to a diagnosis. So in a sense, they both are working toward the same goal. They do so in different ways. Subtypes are mutually exclusive, jointly exhaustive, phenomenological subgroupings within a diagnosis. So let's break that down. So we have mutually exclusive and jointly exhaustive. Sometimes jointly exhaustive is referred to as collectively exhaustive. Now these are two different concepts. So let's say that we have a diagnosis that has two subtypes. So mutually exclusive means that someone can only have one of those subtypes. If one is present, the other one can't be present. Jointly exhaustive means that those two subtypes taken together represent all of the subtypes. So somebody can only be one or the other, and they have to be one or the other. So only one or the other is the mutually exclusive part, and have to be one or the other would be the jointly exhaustive or collectively exhaustive part. When diagnosing using the DSM, you know that a particular mental health disorder is asking for a subtype when it says specify whether, that term, specify whether. After that, you're going to see subtypes. Now, specifiers are different. Specifiers don't have to be mutually exclusive. Sometimes they are, but they don't have to be and they're not jointly exhaustive. So specifiers tell us about the course, the severity, or sometimes about descriptive features of a diagnosis. So course, for example, could be partial remission or full remission. Severity we often see as mild, moderate, or severe, and sometimes in the DSM there's an extreme severity specifier. And descriptive features could be something like in a controlled environment. That's a descriptive feature of a diagnosis. Now, when looking at a mental health diagnosis in the DSM, if you see the word specify or specify if, what follows there would be the specifiers. So subtypes are set off by specify whether, specifiers are set off by specify or specify if. So if we look at a disorder like non-rapid eye movement sleep arousal disorder, this has two subtypes and one subtype has two specifiers. So the two subtypes of that disorder are sleepwalking type and sleep terror type. The sleepwalking type has two specifiers, sleep-related eating and sleep-related sexual behavior. Now, I chose this example because it's an interesting example in mental health diagnosing because there are individuals who have non-REM sleep arousal disorder that have both sleepwalking and sleep terrors. Now remember these categories, subtypes, are mutually exclusive and jointly exhaustive. So technically speaking, they would have to have this disorder twice. They'd have to have one diagnosis for the sleepwalking type and another for the sleep terror type. Probably many clinicians would just make a note that both of those symptoms seem to be met rather than diagnosing the same diagnosis twice with two different subtypes. But it's just an interesting example because we think of the mutually exclusive, jointly exhaustive characteristic of subtypes, that doesn't seem to be really met with that particular disorder. However, with most disorders, it's fairly clear. For example, conduct disorder has three subtypes, childhood onset, adolescent onset, and unspecified onset. So it's clear that that's a subtype somebody can only be in one of those categories at a time, and that does cover the total number of categories possible. An interesting example using specifiers would be nightmare disorder. Nightmare disorder has a severity specifier, mild, moderate, and severe, but that specifier deals with a number of episodes in a week, less than one, greater than one, but not nightly, and nightly. Those correspond to mild, moderate, and severe. Nightmare disorder also has three specifiers, acute, subacute, and persistent, that in this case are mutually exclusive, but they deal with the duration of the period of nightmares, 
one month, one to six months, or greater than six months. So in this case, two sets of specifiers seem to deal with severity. Even though one is labeled severity, both of them seem to be speaking to that issue because we think of severity as intensity, frequency, duration, or symptom count. So in the case of nightmare disorder, two sets of specifiers look at different characteristics within severity. I hope you found this description of subtypes and specifiers in the DSM to be interesting. Thanks for watching.